Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland, and this is a slightly uneven picture, I think, but only slightly. And it's going to be a daily hypnosis session. So, I started doing these daily hypnosis sessions back in probably about over a month ago, I would say. I did, I think, four or five. So I don't know what number this is. And then things went a bit weird and uh, the start I was focusing on the website and I got rid of two of my podcasts and then got podcasts back but I had to re-upload everything and you know so it's um, and building a new website so quite a lot's happened there that's why there's been a bit of a break between the daily hypnosis sessions that I've been doing so my aim is to start doing this a bit more hopefully I can do them using these headphones and hopefully the microphone is uh, good enough quality so that I can just upload it straight to YouTube without any editing or anything like that if not, then I'll just have to um, I guess, you know, do all the editing and if I'm going to do that, I might as well just record it using the recording studio as well to make sure that the sound is louder and, you know. Anyway, do you like my t-shirt? a let me bore you to sleep although this isn't a let me bore you to sleep session um, only listen to this or watch this when you can safely close your eyes because it just uh, it covers it <laughs> covers everything every situation because basically if you're safely got your eyes closed then can't think of anything that would be dangerous for you to listen to this you know because if you fell asleep if you safely got your eyes closed not that this is a sleep session but you know the idea is that you're able to focus on this focus on me focus on you focus on my voice focus on the words um, you know so that's it and I do understand how, you know, it must be hard not to just want to look at my beautiful face, but try to resist the temptation and maybe close your eyes and listen to my words. I never talk loudly, ever, really. Just even in real life, I don't talk loudly. So when I use the recording studio for the audio, I have to overlay it about 15 times to get it to an actual decent volume. Partly because I don't know how to use a recording studio very well, but it seems to work out okay. So I'm naturally not whisperer, but softly spoken. I guess that's the natural way that I speak. So let me know if for any reason the volume's not good enough or you know, you kind of, maybe an advert comes up if you're watching it online, uh, you know, that disrupts it. What you could do is download the video from 
my website then you can just watch it uninterrupted as many times as you want or you could download the audio from my website as well you can stream it on SoundCloud uh, you can also watch the video on my website also as well as YouTube right uh, that wasted a bit of time didn't it so I spent about two minutes doing the uh, daily hypnosis now not really so really I would say close your eyes now I'm going to close my eyes and I've been thinking there's a lot of people out there in the world that maybe forget how amazing you are. And I don't mean that in a disingenuous way, but most people have a, a part of them that is amazing, that is just, or somebody's found you to be amazing, or you've done something to help somebody, maybe in the past, maybe now, and that has changed their life in a way that you may never ever be aware of and never find out about it. That's the thing. Uh, you may never hear from that person to tell you that actually you've had an effect. You've really made a difference to that person. Maybe you've looked after somebody cared for somebody you've looked out for somebody or even just thought about somebody when they're not there with you thought about them maybe been concerned and that in itself is quite amazing when you consider how many uh, demands and distractions that there may be on all of us really without family and friends and all that stuff just with society with the media and just with everything is there's quite a bombardment sometimes of information and expectation and if you can take some time off from that spend some you know quality time in a a separate space in your mind where the only feeling that is needed and you don't need to do anything for that feeling that's already there except just step inside that space in your mind that feeling of just being amazing, feeling amazing. And you can change that feeling if you want. It doesn't have to be amazing. You can put it into your own words. It could be feeling satisfied feeling that you've accomplished something really important. It can be whatever you choose that space with that feeling that you experience now, however you wish to enjoy that feeling. It's kind of like giving yourself a a pat on the back. Something that maybe we can't really do in public in a sense of self congratulatory I'm not sure if that's the right word, congratulatory way. 
But when you're on your own, when you get in touch with the reality of your life, there are things that are worth acknowledging. Times that you've done something or said something that's helped another person in their life. And that feeling is yours to experience. You don't need anybody's permission to feel good about helping others and I really like the idea of getting in touch with that feeling of appreciation for yourself appreciating you even for those times that you've helped others that you're not even aware of. Those times that you've said something that has had an emotionally positive impact on somebody's life. Maybe steered them in a different direction to the one that they were heading. I don't know why, I always remember that sentence from George Michael's song, Careless Whisper. And the sentence, uh, turn a different corner and we never would have met. And we're always turning corners. And maybe someone was about to turn left and you... For whatever reason, something you said, something you did, they turned a different direction. They turned right instead of left, or left instead of right. You may have saved their life. You may have transformed their life. Isn't it, isn't it worth, isn't it worth giving yourself a pat on the back? Giving yourself a hug? And saying thank you to yourself. Saying thank you to yourself for having a life changing effect, a positive life changing effect on someone, maybe many people, maybe some, maybe lots that you've don't even realize I've known people over the years that tell me how somebody's helped them and how grateful they are for somebody maybe another friend that's helped them but then I realize and I find out later that they've never actually told that person how much they appreciate what they did or what they said or maybe what they didn't say or what they didn't do because no matter whether it's intentionally helping someone or unintentionally 
it's still held them. It's still something that you can feel good about inside. And that feeling that you experience when you're in that space now. The feeling of feeling amazing or whatever other feelings that you may experience now. Perhaps you appreciate yourself more. Perhaps you realize the importance of your life. Perhaps you start to become more aware of what, how lovely you are. You become aware of the kindness that's in your heart. you really can start to appreciate yourself more for all the different characteristics that you have. Appreciating all those things that make you the person that you are. Perhaps you can enjoy smiling more. When you think back to this space, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, you can think back to this space, this safe space, and these feelings of comfort these feelings of appreciation. These feelings of how wonderful you are. And maybe as you think about that in the future, you can imagine yourself smiling just experiencing that feeling spreading all over your skin as if you were standing out on a nice warm evening in a secluded garden completely private and it's raining down on you and you're completely naked and all that rain is just covering your body with relaxation and a sense of comfort and appreciation and being completely free completely free relax full of pleasure and even a glimpse of that feeling in 
you smile. It could be a trigger to experience more of that. But this time, in the future, you can do this. You can be fully clothed. You can be anywhere. Just by thinking of smiling, thinking of this safe space where you can really appreciate yourself. It's as if those feelings of freedom and appreciation and self-love push all those other feelings of stress and negativity right out of your body. That feeling of calmness and relaxation becomes the stronger feeling. The more substantial sensation in your body with that feeling of self-love and appreciation and self-belief spreading through all of your organs of your body through your bones There's an old saying in some parts of my country where people say, oh, I love the bones of that person. So how about loving the bones of yourself? But literally, we're not talking metaphorically or imagination. We're talking literally loving your bones. Because this isn't just about an idea. This is about experience. Experiencing feelings of comfort. Not, not just through your body, but also in your mind. And it's as if that sense of comfort and freedom is starting to spread around you, physically around you, beyond your body, starting to spread on the floor beneath you, causing a path wherever you go, making a path for you to have a future to enjoy a future and to look forward to a future with more freedom, a future with more comfort, a future where you believe in yourself now. It's as if, you know, if you've ever seen a royal wedding there's the red carpet. I think they have it at ceremonies as well sometimes. Openings of movies. And it's the red carpet. And imagine wherever you go, there's a carpet that's just moving ahead of you. It doesn't have to be red. It can be any colour that you choose. In whatever direction you walk, that carpet spreads in that direction, allowing you to feel safe, allowing you with every movement, whether you're walking, whether you're in a car, on a bicycle, on a horse, in a wheelchair, whatever form of transport, that carpet of freedom
leads you into a future of comfort and calmness, feeling happy and content and actually looking forward to the future. Literally looking forward. And you can start to plan things that you maybe have always wanted to do, but maybe you've never felt that freedom to do certain things in the past, but now as you imagine the future, looking forward with these feelings of comfort and safety and freedom because that freedom really loosens your mind it allows you to think much more expansive dimensions it loosens limiting beliefs lim limited ideas get loosened, allowing you to move past other people's limited ideas about how you should be, those things that others may tell you, telling you things that you can't do, well, you now know that there's much more that you can do. And that freedom, that sense of looseness, loosening those limited thoughts from the past. Because I know that every now and then you do something and you realise that you could do it and you never realised before maybe you never believed before that you could and then you you come to the understanding and realisation that perhaps you were always able to do that and the only thing that stopped you was that limiting belief and now as you look forward, still in that comfortable space, you can really start to plan a future for yourself, a future made just for you, that you can enjoy, that you can feel wonderful loose, calm and free and every day as you move forward you feel more able to get in touch with that feeling of freedom. Every day moving forward you can start to notice small changes occurring in your life. Maybe the way that you relate to other people somehow changes. making it easier for you to communicate. And maybe you'll find that other people seem to be friendlier. It's as if that, that glow of, of freedom and self-appreciation 
and self-worth shine through your skin. Travelling before you wherever you go. In the same way as if you were carrying a light bulb or a lamp or torch or flashlight. People would see you, the light, before they saw you, especially if it was in the dark, they would see the light first. In the same way that that light that comes from within you, that freedom, that looseness, that kindness, self-appreciation shines through that love that you can have for yourself that love that you can have for each part of your body because the more love that you shine and direct towards yourself that love just seems to shine back ten times as strong shooting out before you and around you brightening and freeing those particles around you, leading your way forward in life. Remembering every now and then to have a little smile. It doesn't have to be a physical smile, it could be an in internal smile. It could be a smile when you're with somebody. Maybe somebody said something that is funny or you're just saying hello to somebody. And that smile triggers these feelings of freedom and self-love and reminds you that you are free. reminds you that you are amazing. And when you smile, it reminds you that you are worth loving. You are a lovable person. And you deserve to be treated with respect and love. You are amazing. And you will remember these words. You will remember all of these words. Now I'm going to bring this session to an end. I'm going to count from five or one to five. I'll count from one to five just in case uh, that helps for you to maybe come back, maybe in case you've drifted a little bit. One, two, three. Just for becoming more aware of your surroundings because you've been focusing internally for the last half an hour or so. And just getting ready and you can hear 
maybe some of the background sounds where you are. There's not much background here, thankfully. I put Andre into the bedroom. He's in his bag, so he's okay, he can sleep, but he loves sleeping on my bed anyway. And then uh, I have four, we'll do number four now. So just get ready to open your eyes. Of course, if you don't want to open your eyes, then you don't have to do anything but that. You know, just do what you want. But if you decide to just, do you want to get on with the rest of your day, then do that. And five, of course, you can open your eyes if you choose. Those things that I said will be in your mind now. And later on today, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, there'll be a time when you smile. And it might be when you're with somebody. It might be when you're alone. It might be maybe even when you're asleep. But you'll smile and you'll have those pleasurable feelings of freedom and self-belief and self-love and all the other wonderful feelings that come together so that you can really appreciate how amazing you are now I think I said five, but if I didn't, five. And if I did, then that's three times I said it. Or four times, five, 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 five. So thank you for listening. I'm a gonna go, and I shall, my plan is to do another one of these tomorrow. Please let me know how you, if you like what I'm doing. These are very different from the let me bore you to sleep because when I do those, I just talk um, very much about nothing. Although you could say maybe you might have felt I did, did that today, but um, the, you know, there's um, it really is the let me bore you to sleep, it's just about being boring. This is much more not related to sleep at all. What I've just done today um, so thank you for listening thank you for watching the videos on YouTube you can watch, stream it on my website you can watch it on my website you can download the video on my website you can listen to the mp3 on SoundCloud you can download the mp3 on my website and you can stream it on my website jasonnewland.com that's it so Lots of love. Bye.